Well, hello again. And today, a little demonstration, a couple loop antennas. Uh, a demonstration of one which is uh, commercially available, and that would be uh, this Texan tunable loop, which you can buy on uh, eBay and other places, Amazon, I believe. And one of my own design, which I'll show you here in a few minutes. Uh, first of all, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'd like to uh, use as a benchmark signal a, uh, a station which is about 40 miles away from us here in New Jersey. So, it's 1570 WISP. And as you can see, uh, without an external antenna of any kind, uh, it doesn't just pick up at all. So let's try the Texan antenna. Give myself a little bit more room. Let's see how this works. Not really so great. Now, you may not be able to hear on this video, but I can I can hear the signal, and if I listen close, I can I can probably listen to uh, and make out uh, uh, the programming just fine. But it's a very weak signal, and as you can see here, it doesn't even register on the S meter. So. I'd like to compare this now to an antenna of my own design. This is uh, a loop antenna which I built. Based it off of plans from uh, that I got from MTM Scientific. You can find them online and they sell plans for uh, a homemade loop antenna. Um, and what's most valuable about MTM Scientific is they also supply a capacitor with their plans. So for about $30 you can buy plans with the capacitor or you can just buy a capacitor for about $17 or $18 delivered to you. So this is a, a based on that, but what I did with this antenna, because I found that uh, their antenna was oriented like thus, and uh, it was very difficult to, uh, to set up and to use. Uh, this one is set up on its corner like so. It has a very small footprint, so it can be rotated fairly easy. In fact, I have a turntable for it. Uh, and it's also designed as a box, which is just uh, some wood glued together, nothing particularly fancy, uh, to make it a little bit more durable, because I was finding that I was always bumping into the wires and bending them out of shape. So, performance-wise, let's see how this works. Still have my radio tuned. signal, to be sure, uh, but it's about three in the S meter, so this antenna um, is doing a pretty good job. So if you want to check out MTM Scientific, you can uh, order plans or just buy the capacitor and you can build one yourself. It's a lot of fun and they work great.